Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you from Lake Mugara here in the Scenic Rim. This is a spot I love, but I haven't been to in a little while, so I thought I'd come out on this nice cool winter's morning and see what we find. I was hoping for a bit of mist. We've got Mount Greville over here, and then some of the other hills and mountains. So I was hoping for a bit of mist over the lake to get those, on those mountains. There's a little bit of mist around, but maybe not as much as I might have Hoped. So this is Mount Greville, which is about eight or 900 meters tall. It's not huge, but it's got a bit of a steep bit if you're climbing it. Really fun mountain to hike up. And then we pan around the lake. I'm not sure what these hills are called, just on the other side of the lake, but it's absolutely lovely here. I took a shot a little bit earlier with the panorama camera, just out here, basically of this misty patch with a bit of the hills to the right. I didn't record it because I didn't really have time. I was rushing a little bit, but I thought I'd take that picture. Now I'm gonna get back to take one of Mount Greville. So I've got the panorama camera on at the moment. And I've got some Fuji Pro 160 NS in there, which is obviously my favorite color negative film. So I've just framed up where I've got Mount Greville and that other hill in the frame. You've got the mountains in the background. Hopefully we get a little bit of the mist that's out here and here. So it should be a nice frame. I'm just gonna meter with my mobile phone this morning. I do have my light meter with me, but I'm just running out of time this morning. It's a bit, the light's coming very quickly because there's not a lot of cloud cover. So if I just meter for Mount Gravel, so I'm getting one eighth of a second at F22. So I'll do one fifteenth of a second at F32. Focus to infinity. Got that wound on ready to go. All right, so that's my second shot of the morning. The sky is not too interesting at the moment, but I just wanted to get it with that first sort of glow of the morning light. And now I think I might actually just wait a little bit because there's, there are some clouds out to the east, but we'll see. See if they move around a little bit or if they catch any light. It may not be a cracker of a sunrise this morning, but hopefully with that little bit of mist moving across the lake, we might get something nice. So I'll just wait and see what happens. I've just switched the Hasselblad on. I'm just framing up a shot of one of the hills out there with some mist in front of it over the lake. I'm just gonna meter it quickly for the hill. So one second at F16. I wanna get this before the mist all moves off. And I've also got Fuji Pro uh, 160 loaded, but it is the final frame of Fuji Pro on this one. So hopefully I get this before all the mist moves away. There we go, F16 one second. Hopefully that's pretty nice. Now that is the last frame of this roll. So I thought it'd be nice to take that. Not sure what I'll load now. I think I've got another roll of 160. I've also got some Kodak Ektar. The Ektar is actually a bit expired, that's okay. I'll overexpose it by 
about a third of a stop and see what happens. Got a really great scene actually over there right now with some mist on it. So I better quickly change films because I will need the long lens for that, I think. It's a bit awkward doing this with gloves, but my car was telling me it's about three degrees Celsius. I'm not sure if that's true, but it is pretty bloody cold. Okay, one roll done. Might grab, I know Fuji Pro with the nice greens does get some really nice sort of, this is a really nice sunrise film I think. So I might load another roll of Fuji Pro in this and just see if I can shoot that scene over there. So I did decide to go with another roll of Fuji Pro 160. Now I'm just gonna grab the 250 mil lens because I do think I'll need the longer lens for this shot. So I just had to move uh, both cameras to get the best of this composition. So I was just looking at those beautiful misty trees over there. So I'm going to go f11, one eighth of a second. One thing I like about Fuji Pro 160 in this kind of light is it should give some nice muted colors. It should look really nice for the scene I've got. So I'm just focused to infinity, the 250 mil lens on just really as close as I can to those beautiful misty trees I just showed you should be nice. I have taken a similar shot here once before but the lake was very uh, low on water so this one should give a bit of a different atmosphere being a bit higher. Keeping a bit of an eye on Mount Greville right here because it is basically right on sunrise time at the moment. So I'm just waiting to see if that first light's gonna catch on the mountain and then I need to decide what camera I'm going to use. The mist is sort of seeming to lift a little bit from right on the lake at the moment, but not in front of the mountain. We can see over here, we've got a little bit more mist hanging around and it's a little bit higher up in the sky. And as we pan around this way, we've still got quite a bit over here. So we'll just have to wait and see what the light brings. Unfortunately, it's very clear in the sky with no clouds. The clouds sort of out around towards the east didn't come around at all. And I'm not shooting in that direction because um, I'm kind of on the eastern side of the lake. So it's a bit hard. So it's a tricky location, this one. It's got some absolutely beautiful scenes, but it can be really hard to get a good spot because around a bit further around the actual lake, there's a lot of private property. So it can be very difficult to actually find a place you can stand to take a photo. So I'm at the main area here at Hague Park, which is a lovely view, but it's, it can be tricky to photograph. One of the things I am struggling a little bit this morning with is last time I was here, the lake was very, very low so I could get down a lot further and it would open up a lot more compositions because down here where these trees the camera's now pointing at are the ones close to us. I could actually walk along a shoreline down there and, and sort of change my compositions up a little bit. Whereas now with the lake so high, I'm sort of stuck in this little area here. I tried to do a quick little wander before the sun came up, before it got light. And there's just not a lot I can see from here. So I'm sort of stuck. Okay, I do have some light coming. So let's get back to Mount Gravel. So shooting Mount Greville with the 250mm is a very tight shot, but I'm going to do it while it's got that light on it, and then I'll switch over to the 150. I think it's worth shooting it now. One eighth of a second at f11. Same exposure I've got now. I'm already at it 
infinity. All right. So now I'm gonna switch the 150 mil lens on and just get a little bit more in the frame with this nice morning light. I do prefer this composition, I think. See if I can get some of the mist and trees off to the side of the mountain. Not sure how good of a composition that is, but we'll see. You've gotta be in it to win it. And let's have a look. I think I really like the light falling on these hills at the moment, that's quite nice. So I might point that 150mm lens over there, because it's not quite as red as Mount Greville, and just see if I can frame up something interesting. So the light is nice out there. I'm not sure it's my favorite composition, but hopefully that, that light on those hills does look really nice. So I've left Lake Mugara and now I'm just, I just pulled over on a little road that I've never driven on before, not far away. So I spotted a great tree on a hill. And I do love a tree on a hill. And once I got set up here by the fence and got the Hasselblad out and was looking through the viewfinder, I spotted there's actually two trees. One down the bottom of the hill and one at the top. And they work fairly well together. I can't get them 100% lined up it's just with the space I've got to move, it's pretty hard, but I've got them pretty close. So I'm gonna grab this shot. I've got the 150 millimeter on, then I think I might do another shot with the 250 mil, just of the initial tree I saw. So I'm at F11, 1 30th of a second, looking at these wonderful trees. I've still got that Fuji Pro 160 in. Now let's just grab this shot. It's just a spot I've never been to. I was just driving past and I sort of almost drove past but reversed back and thought, well, I've not been up this road before, so may as well have a look. Okay, I'm gonna switch on the 250 mil and just grab a shot of just the one lone tree. So now I've just got the one tree, the grassy hill in my frame. I really like it. The shadow of the hill is extending down to the edge of the frame. Pretty happy with this shot, I think. F11, 1 30th of a second with the 250 millimeter lens. So I only have a few more shots to go on this roll, so I might carry it down, on down this road a little bit longer, just see if there's anything interesting before I think about heading home. So I'm about to shoot my last frame of the day. In the Hassel, I'm using the Hasselblad here with the 150 millimeter lens. It's a nice enough scene, but it's not gonna be my, probably won't be the best shot of the morning. There's a, there's a little water hole or dam with some trees and hills around it, so it's pretty nice. I'm gonna shoot at F11, 1 15th of a second, my mirror up, so here we go. And that's my last frame of the morning.
Well, that's me done for the morning. It was so nice to get out. It had been a few weeks since I've been out for a photo shoot and I just find it really helps me to feel better, you know, preparing for the week coming up. I just like to get out and, you know, take some photos. So whether or not these are the best photos I've ever taken or anything like that, it doesn't really matter. It's just nice to get out, to take some photos, to relax, see some new areas and hopefully make a video that you guys all like. So thanks so much for joining me this morning. I really do hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do and remember to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it if you leave any comments or feedback or if you have any questions, just ask down below. And I really can't wait to see you again soon.